Welcome back. The next birdhouse idea, design, construction is of this stone birdhouse. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I love to share my birdhouse builds with you. So I start with this etching. It's a etching that I then colorize, as you've seen in my previous birdhouse build. But I start with this, and it's a right angle top. No, it's not a right angle top. It's like a 22 and a half, half of a right angle top. So it's, it's more a chalet style construction. But what I'm doing here is just building the frame that I will eventually attach the stones to. So this is all coming together. I used a nail gun for the uh, main structure. The nails will be hidden. I did not put nails on the face. I didn't want those showing or have to deal with that. So I used this really strong hot glue. That stick in the metal is just separating out the frame of the box so I can line up the face without a problem. So there it is. It's all put together. And now what I'm going to do is put on them what you would normally call a ridge pole just to help keep those face and the back separated from each other. I'm just cleaning up that ridge pole a little bit there that will go in with the same glue. There's no way to really nail these things. Uh, and then you see the nails and I don't want to do that either. So that is what I've been doing. So once the framing structure is all put together, I put a black gloss oil-based paint on the frame itself. That dried and then I started to work on the base. For this entrance hole for cleaning, I used a hole saw big enough to remove and get your hand in there. On the inside of the house itself, these two pieces will be hidden as you can see there, but they are what I'm going to use to hold and secure that round piece in place. It will have screws in it and they will screw into these two pieces and that will be the way to get in on take the screws out and get into the birdhouse and uh, clean it. Now a lot of people will make doors in the back. I've done that with clock houses before. I'll do some videos on those in the future. If you subscribe you'll see that. But right now people seem to be interested in birdhouses so I'm spending more time showing you how I make my birdhouses. The glue gun doesn't really want to work. It has to really be hot. I actually ended up having to re-glue this at some point because the glue gun wasn't working too well, but I fixed all of that. And sometimes you have to let things play out and fix them and, you know, get go back in and, um, and, and look at things again and, and test things like the stones. I had to make sure that they were all secure and weren't going to fall out on any buyer. Now here I'm putting in the screw holes and then the screws for the, um, the way to get in and out of this birdhouse. So once I position the pieces that hold the door in place, the cleaning door, I position the base and tried to balance it well on all sides that on that book match piece of cedar that I used. So if you really like these birdhouse builds, this is the next one I'm going to be talking about. Subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications. Now back to the stone birdhouse build. I have all of these crushed granite stones with multiple colors. A lot of them are red. I don't know if it's garnet or not. I know granite does have garnet in it. But I randomly picked up stones that I thought were beautiful. And that's sort of a prerequisite for me. I, I like stones and other organic materials, and I want to pick things that are beautiful to use in most of the things that I do. 
including these birdhouse builds. So I'm methodically placing them to snuggle and nest well to each other. They are being secured not only to the birdhouse box itself, but to that base. So it will be a solid structure, which is why I needed to put the hole in the bottom. So the corners were not real tricky, but a little tricky, and the, I had to overlap them because they didn't want to see that edge at the corner. So when I came back around, which you'll see in a second, that I overlapped them so that corner would be hidden. I have had questions in the past about this glue holding up in the heat, and I don't really see a heat problem, but bright beating sunlight that gets up to extreme high temperatures may be an issue. So I suggest you put your birdhouses in the shade. And frankly, I don't think a bird wants to be in a hot box. Uh, they may, but... And it depends on the region where you live. If you buy one of these or you make one of these, it depends on the region where you are. But bright, hot sunlight, probably not a good idea. Not just for the bird, but for the stability of the um, birdhouse itself. And, I mean, the glue is strong. It, it's wicked strong. But uh, it's not necessarily great for a bird. Probably more of a concern than the glue. So I picked cedar wood. It's, they're actually old roofing shingles, and I got a bunch from a job site from a friend of mine who put them on the roof and had these to uh, add. So they're, it's a very resistant, water-resistant uh, wood, so it's good for a birdhouse. But I'm just sanding it down and making sure that it's nice and flush and will look good once I get the finish on it. So I'm buttoning it up to those stones on the base and I'll glue this permanently in place in a minute.
And as I like to do, I am adding a little finish touch, uh, the molding around the edges. It kind of cleans up the, um, well, like any molding, it cleans up the area where the two places meet. So I, I like to do that part. It's not necessary, but I like to add that. So that's what I'm doing now. This will not only make the colors pop, but it will also help seal in everything that uh, is going to be exposed to potential weather. So I start with the bottom, and it's a clear glaze. It's not, you know, resin, so it's not some heavy-duty, gloppy stuff. But I put a couple of coats of this on the entire birdhouse, bottom, top, everything, and it uh, really helps with the... Uh, look the overall look and as I've said in the past for me it's about the aesthetics I'm an artist so it's it really is more um, a focus on how it looks the aesthetic value Once everything was dry, I put it in my photo box and took some photographs of it. Now, I took this to a show and people loved it. It's heavy, though, so that might have been a deterrent to purchase, but they loved it. Don't forget, this is my next birdhouse build. Click on the subscribe and bell button to see it. Thanks for watching.